The York Fairgrounds hosted its annual two-day harness racing meet under clear skies and perfect weather conditions. Freshmen filled the evening card, led off by four divisions of Philly Trotters and PA Sire Stake action. In the first division, girls' getaway was a 205 winner for driver Chris Shaw. A later group turned out to be a showcase for Dunstable's Lyrical Lady, as the Cantab Hall Philly set a new track record for freshman trotting fillies, covering the mile in 203 and 3 fifths for Roger Hammer. The Dunn and Hammer combination came back to win another division as well, with graciously trotting the mile in 207 and 3. Another track record fell later on the card. Blissful Artist, in rain to Eric Neal, was parked on the outside for the entire mile from post 6, but still managed to earn the victory in 159 and 2, a lifetime best and new track standard for two-year-old pacing fillies. In the second division, my gal Hannah also overcame the outside post 6 and won for trainer driver Hammer in 202 and 1 -fifth. The final Philly pacing group was captured by Dragon Dance and trainer driver Todd Shadle in 2 minutes and 4 fifths. The Dragon Again Philly is owned by the Horse Around Stable. In a Quaker pace, Metro Dial was a winner in 205 and 4. It was the first career win for the Philly, owned by J.R. Ramsberg and trainer Joe Offutt. Timmy Offutt was the winning driver. Shadel added another win in the first PA Sire Stake two-year-old Colt Trot, guiding Keystone Wildcard to a 207 and 2-fifth win. In the next division, Shadel Ketch drove Meta Branch Red to a 205 and 4-fifth victory for owner Hans Engren and trainer Bjorn Noren. The SJ's Caviar Colt won for the first time in his third career outing. The final division was won in fine fashion by Cadence Hall, who kicked into high gear in the stretch to win in a lifetime best 205 for trainer driver Bill Doherty. Susan Doherty owns the Chip Chip Hooray Gelding, now a winner of 8 of 13 starts. The next morning, sophomores were in the spotlight, and Kalua Killeen was a winner in a three-year-old Philly pace for driver Eddie McKnight in 202 and 1 -fifth. My girl, my kind of dig -dig. Kalua the clean keeps on coming, Kalua Killeen! Roger Hammer then guided Bliss Falcon out of his own stable to a lifetime best 159 and 4 victory. Bliss Falcon has now won 6 of 22 starts on the year. In a Quaker trot, Elmer Fletcher, owned by trainer Ken Weaver and Schaefer Standardbreds, trotted in 209 and 4 for McKnight. And Elmer Fletcher got plenty of pony here. Elmer Fletcher, if I'm. The other Quaker division was won by Telling Secrets, leased and trained by Sil King in 207 and 2 fifths. Wayne Long was the winning driver. Southwind Nitro, fresh off a Stallion Series championship win at Pocono, went wire to wire in 201 and 2 fifths for Bill Doherty, a new all age track record, the fastest ever for trotters on the York Half Mile Oval. In a three year old Colt Trot division, Kyle Boland's North Broadway was a winner for trainer driver Roger Hammer. Hammer then picked up another win in a three year old Philly trot as Caviar and Kisses, owned by the Dunn Stable, scored in 202 and 2 fifths. Doing her best, but it's going to be second best. It's Caviar and Kisses in front. 